Happy Homebrew Wednesday for December 18th, 2013. We're all uh, decorated up for Christmas as you can see. It's been a busy couple of weeks getting everything ready and presents wrapped and shopping and work and everything else. So this video is going to be a little bit short this week. So this is what we're here to talk about. This is my Christmas wine. It's a uh, spiced cranberry. Uh, I put uh, cinnamon sticks, uh, some nutmeg, and some allspice, and some cloves in there when it was fermenting. So this is uh, my Christmas wine. We're just going to go ahead and uh, bag those up. And that's what we're going to give family and friends for Christmas. So here it is all heated up with a cinnamon stick in it. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so this is how I'm going to put this wine together here. I'm going to take the cinnamon stick and drop that down into the cup there. And then we're going to pour our Christmas wine over the top of it. Then we're going to take and we're going to put it in the microwave and warm it up. So we throw it in the microwave and we're going to let that heat up. So as you can see it's uh, steaming hot. Okay so the aroma on it is absolutely amazing. Mm, yeah that's uh delicious that'll definitely keep you warm on a cold winter's night so I definitely say that uh, this experiment was a success uh, on that note I'd like to wish my best friend Corey a happy birthday happy birthday bro cheers so I'm just gonna go ahead and insert some footage of uh, the cranberry wine getting it ready to give away so here's that footage okay so here's our cranberry mold spice wine that I did for my Christmas wine as you can see it's crystal clear uh, you can see my hand through it there uh, it's ready to be bottled we're about 10 days before Christmas so we're gonna bottle it and start giving it to people so the whole idea behind this wine is uh, I wanted to make a mold wine. Uh, so we went ahead and I put the spices in as it was fermenting and in the secondary. Um, so that would infuse into the wine and you'd get those flavors without having to boil it on the stove and boil those things into the wine. So they're already in the wine. So and then my idea is to uh, warm this up in a, in a mug in the microwave and uh, drink it hot to kind of warm you in the winter that's kind of my idea behind it we'll see how it turns out and also when you uh, warm it up uh, I'm gonna put a cinnamon stick in it when I warm it up this has got the it started out with cranberry juice and we put uh, cinnamon sticks a whole nutmeg and whole cloves and whole allspice in it our uh, starting SG was 1.085 and uh, we ended at 0.993 so we ended up at 11.2 percent ABV on this guy uh, this is just my card with my notes on it um, I started it back on August 1st so it's been sitting for like 18 weeks uh, so this should be a really good wine so we're going to go ahead and rack that into a bucket. Once again, the reason that we're racking it into a bucket before we bottle it is because we want to mix it all back up. So any alcohol that's settled to the bottom or whatever, we mix it all back throughout the wine. Also, any flavors that's kind of settled here or there, we want to mix up again and mix it up throughout the wine so all of our bottles of wine taste the same. So here we got our bottling trio full of our sanitized bottles. Uh, in our sink we've got our corks soaking so they can go into the bottles easier when we get done. And uh, I've got a towel down here. I just like to put a towel underneath when I'm bottling just so 
if I spill anything it goes onto the towel instead of my floor and make my floor all sticky. So we're going to go ahead and start bottling that. Okay, so we've got it all bottled and corked. We ended up with 24 and a half bottles. Um, there's what it looks like, nice and clear. So now we just got to label them and top them. Okay guys, there you go. That's uh, really about all I've got this week. Like I said, everybody's kind of busy this time of year, so uh, I hope you take the time to watch that and uh, definitely give this a try. Uh, this is definitely one of the best ones I've done. Uh, I do like it heated and I like the, the spices in it too, so cheers everyone.